Statistical plots always allow viewers to identify outliers, visualize distributions, deduce variable types, and discover relationships and correlations between variables in a data set. In this course, I am going to show you how to use statistical plots to visual detect outliers, deduce variable distribution and type, and uncover relationships and correlation between variables. Histograms are very simple plots that are used to show variable distribution. Scatter plots, on the other hand, are used to show relationships between variables. Scatter plot matrices show correlations between variables and box plots show variable spread and are useful for outlier detection. Let me show you how to create these in Python. In this demonstration, we are going to be using NPI in Pandas library. From Pandas, we want to import the tool for scattered plot matrices. So we will say from pandas.tool.plotting. This is the module that has the tool. We will say import scatter dash matrix and we are also going to be using matplotlib and cborn like we have throughout this chapter. So we will import those and then I can run this and get our library imported into our environment. And we will set our parameters for the Jupyter notebook like usual. And let's start with histograms first. We are going to use the empty cars dataset that we have been using throughout this course. So let's load that and then we are going to isolate the mpg variable. So we will say mpg cars and then select the mpg label index. And let's create a histogram of this variable. To do that we call the plot method of mpg variable and then pass in the argument kind equal to hist. And there we have it, a histogram. You could also generate a histogram by calling the hist function and passing in the mpg variable. So we could go plt.hist and then say mpg and print that out. It creates the same histogram. It's just a different method for creating a histogram with matplotlib. Let me show you how to create a histogram with Seaborn. Seaborn is really great for statistical plotting, which is another reason that I made sure to introduce this into most segments in this course. To create a histogram in Seaborn, you call the distplot function and you pass in the name of the variable you are interested in. So for here, that will be mpg. And it's nice cause we have got a trend line here. It shows the distribution as a line and Seaborn does that for us automatically. You can kind of see the differences. It's a lot nicer for a statistical plotting. And to create a scatter plot using matplotlib, let's just create a scatter plot from data that's in our cars data set. So we are going to call the plot method of of the data set. And we are going to pass in kind equal to scatter. That's how you tell Python you want a scatter plot. And for our x variable, let's use the hp column from the cars data set. And we will pass in y equal to mpg. So the mpg variable is plotted along the y-axis. And then let's give it a color equal to dark gray. We create a list with a string that says dark gray. And then we will say we want the marker size to be 150. To do that, we say s equal to 150. And we print it out. And now we can see mpg is plotted on the y-axis, hp on the x-axis, and it looks like they have a linear relationship between them. To do this in Seaborn, you use the red plot function. So you would say sb.regplot, and similar to what we did above, you could say pass in x is equal to hp, y is equal to mpg. But here is where things differ. You are going to say 
data equals to cars. This argument says tell Seaborn what data set you want plotted and then scatter equal to true. And as you can see, Seaborn automatically creates a trend line. Now let's look at how to create a scatter plot matrix. Seaborn is really the easiest library for creating scatter plot matrices. Use a pair plot function to do that. You would say sb.pairplot and pass in the cars data frame. It takes a few seconds to plot out. Okay, so we have a scatter plot matrix, but it's a lot of information. With so many variables, it's too small for us to really deduce much. We just plotted out two dimensions of data, the X and the Y. But I am going to show you now how to add a third dimension of information to this chart by adding in categorical coloring. First, let's make a subset. We call it cars-df and we are going to make it a data frame. So we will call our data frame constructor and we will use the special indexer function that you saw earlier in this course. And we will select the columns with the label 1 three, four, and six. And then we want to access the values in those columns. So we will say dot values and let's name those columns in our new data frame. So we will say column is equal to and create a list that says mpg, displacement, disk, hp, and weight. Let's also isolate a target variable. For our target, we are going to choose the column called AIM, which is for automatic and manual transmission. So we will again use our special indexer. But we are going to select the column that is number 9 and access the values in that column by calling dot values. And let's set some target names for that variable. Target dash names and then say it can be either a zero for automatic transmission or a one for manual. Now in order to add this third dimension of information, what we are going to do is we are going to create a new variable in the cars data frame and we are going to call it group. It's going to be a categorical variable. Then we are going to tell Seaborn to go through that variable and color each point in the scatter plot matrix according to the value in that category. So in order to add the variable, we say cars-df and we will call this new variable group. And then we will say we want this group variable to be a series object. So we call our series constructor and we want to build the series from data in the cars target variable that we just created. But we want to pass in d type equal to category to tell Python that this needs to be a categorical variable. And then we use the cbonds pair plot function. So we say sb.pair plot and we pass in cars dash df, the name of the data frame we want plotted. Then we are going to pass in an argument, hue equal to group. And this tells Seaborn to pick the colors for the points based on the values in the group column. And also I am going to pass in paletti equal to this, to HLS, sorry. This is a pre-built color palettes. I choose HLS from the documentation, but you can also look on the documentation for yourself and pick your own color scheme. We plot this out. This is much easier to read because it's a smaller amount of data. And let's look at what it's saying to us. So the red indicates zero for automatic transmission and blue is manual transmission. And so what this plot is actually telling us is that cars that wait more tend to have automatic transmission. And when they weigh less, they tend to have manual transmission. Also, we can deduce that cars that have an automatic transmission get less miles per gallon and cars with a manual transmission get more miles per gallon. I also want to show you how to build box plots in Matplotlib 
To do that, you just call the box plot method and pass in arguments for the column and pie. I will show you. So let's say we want to create a box plot from the cars data. So we call the box plot method of, of the cars data frame and we say we want to have the column. Column is equal to the mpg variable and we want it plotted by the um, variable automatic or manual transmission. Let's create a second box plot that plots weight versus transmission type. And this is basically just showing us the same thing we saw in the scatter plot matrix really. Cars that have automatic transmission gets less miles per gallon than cars that have a manual transmission. And also cars that have a manual transmission tend to weigh less than cars that have an automatic transmission. One last thing I want to show you is how to create box plot in C bond. For that you would use the box plots function. So it's sp.boxplot. You are going to say on our x-axis we want to have the transmission type plotted out. So x equals to m and y is equal to mpg variable. We are pulling our data from the cars data set. So we will say data equal to cars and again we are going to use the plurality of HLS. Nice, we see a box plot that Seaborn created with a pretty color scheme and it's equivalent to this matplotlib box plot except for it's just prettier. This ties up the data visualization section for this course. But pretty soon I'm going to show you how to use these statistical plots to detect out liars and uncover correlations and stuff like that. So stay tuned. Please like the videos and subscribe to my channel and if you don't like the video let me know in the comment section on how to improve this thanks for watching